Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Motor Mike Media and as always I'm Motor Mike and today we're going to talk about the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. These are just some of my highlights so let's get started. We'll start with the Ram 1500 EV for 2024. Ram's making a lot of news about this but all we know is it's in the works. It'll be here for 2024. We should see a working prototype very soon but they showed you the platform and they're very excited about it. Now since we're talking about Stellantis products let's talk about the 2022 Jeep Grand and Cherokee L, that's the long wheelbase one, the blackout package. And I really dig this thing. Now, a lot of vehicles have a blackout package or something similar to that. This one gets special 20 inch wheels that are blacked out. The mirror caps are blacked out. The grill's blacked out. So some trim pieces are different or blacked out. But with this white body and those black accents, it's that Stormtrooper vibe and it looks very, very sharp. And it's only going to cost about $1,695. It's a pretty good deal to stand out. After that, well, let's go to the 2022 Ford Bronco Everglades. And the Everglades is really sharp looking. Now, this will be a uh, basically an off-road package or trim that will only be available with a smaller 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. So some might consider this the most off-road uh, capable Bronco with a 2.3 liter. This is basically a Sasquatch package that is enhanced. Special wheels, special fenders. The vehicle has this beautiful emerald green color to it that I really like. A special front bumper with a winch right there in the front. They have a snorkel on the side, which is kind of cool. I'm not a big snorkel person. It's an air intake snorkel, just so you know. But there's a little plate on it so you can suck air from the back or from the front. You can just change it on the fly. But this thing has cool little graphics on it. It does stand out. It has lots of good things. It's basically the Sasquatch package plus a little extra. And I really like it. After that, let's talk about some Nissan trucks. Nissan showed off some little uh, uh, project trucks, as they like to call them, and they all stand out. They're really cool with some heritage designs to them. There was the Project 72X, and I like this thing. It almost looks like a work truck that's lifted with these white painted wheels, all these cool graphics. You got the bar in the back. I'll put some other details in the bottom for you guys, but it really stood out. But my favorite of all of them would be the Project Hardbody. The Hardbody pickup trucks, or what they used to call the old uh, Frontiers way back in the day. Now I like this thing bright red, the old graphics on the side, it's rugged with the bright red standing out with the black accents. That's my cup of tea, but if you want something that can do it all, there was the Adventure, or the Project Adventure as they like to call it, and that thing could do it all. It was hauling canoes, had all this extra storage, uh, off-road ready, it's lifted, big tires, everything was made so you can go overlanding in this vehicle, go camping in this vehicle, it can just do everything. I really like special trucks like this. It shows off potential products they can have in the future or ideals that you can have to take one of these trucks and customize it yourself. But that was just my highlights for the Chicago Auto Show. Let me know in the comments below. What are things you liked and didn't like about the Chicago Auto Show? Do you wish there was more? What were your highlights? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. A little of everything, but please like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.